More power from a new Lotus, Mazda bets on hydrogen, and a mystery Acura shows up in Death Valley. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, hanging out at the Audi Forum in New York City, standing next to a lovely R8. I'd have sex with this car. Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Death Rings, starring Jason Statham in theaters August 22nd. And if you're one of those never-satisfied types left underwhelmed by the new Lotus Evora, prepare to be, well, sufficiently whelmed. Lotus CEO Mike Kimberly says the company's planning new variants with more power and even more sunlight. That from the UK's Autocar, which reports a more powerful version of the Lotus 2 Plus 2 could arrive within two years. Word is the Pepier Evora will get a boost to around 320 horsepower from the base model's 280. That while keeping the Avoria's Toyota Source 3.5 liter V6 naturally aspirated. But that won't be the end of the power increase. Autocar says Lotus left plenty of room in the mid-mounted engine bay for a supercharger. That, Autocar says, a compressor charge model will get in range of 400 horsepower and an estimated 0 to 60 time of under 4 seconds. No timeline yet on the Porsche 911 fighter from Lotus, but it may coincide with the release of the long-awaited Esprit replacement. A new Mazda hybrid shows up around the corner, that according to UK's Auto Express. With Mazda's rotary-powered RX-8 entering its seventh year of production, a replacement could be in play by 2012. That car, possibly dubbed the RX-9, may become the platform for a new gasoline-hydrogen hybrid drivetrain. Mazda engineers have been testing hydrogen combustion tech on rotary engines for several years. The company showed off the RX-8 Hydrogen RE four years ago at the Detroit Auto Show. Auto Express reports insiders suggest the dual-fuel RX-8 replacement will let drivers switch between gas and hydrogen to improve fuel economy and emissions. The downside? The system will reduce power by 20% in hydrogen mode. No official word from Mazda, but who cares, because we're banned in Germany anyway. Apparently, Audi didn't get the memo. Next up, is Acura following BMW into the weird SUV zone? That's an internet rumor mill, and it's coming up right after this. You're familiar with the death race. The drivers are convicts, and the rules are simple. It's kill or be killed. I can see the appeal. Win and get your freedom. Let's play a little offense. <laughs> You're out in front. Who are you going to shoot at? Hold tight. I love this game. You can burn me, you can shoot me, but you can't kill me! Take it off. Starts August 22nd. The UK's car magazine reports Acura has been testing a large crossover SUV that may rival the Infiniti FX. Spies caught the heavily disguised Acura, at least we think it's an Acura, in the California desert where the covered wagon was undergoing hot weather testing. Earlier this week, Acura officials told Automotive News the company would introduce a new model between now and 2010 that would further its move to become, quote, tier one luxury brand, like Mercedes and BMW. No word yet that the new model will be the car under the blanket. And finally, what are highway speed limit cameras good for? Well, the answer is in question today. That after a guy in South Africa got a summons in the mail for breaking the speed limit. Only trouble is his Volkswagen Polo was out of commission at the time. So how did the guy break the speed limit in a broken down VW? He didn't, but the guy towing it was. The enigma was solved and corrected when the guy got busted for a second traffic violation. Yes, tailgating. Well, that wraps up Fast Lane Daily for today. I want to thank the lovely people here at Audi. Guys, thanks for letting us come. Oh, all right. For letting us come here and host the show. I'm Derek D. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go sit in an Audi. See you later. Red snapper? Mackerel, delicious fresh fish. Mackerel, we have organic fish, red snapper, and porkies. Excellent fish. There's something fishy about him, though. Isn't there something fishy about him? Oh, we got beautiful fish here, young man. These fish are freshly caught, far out on the Atlantic. He probably ate two or more of his to get to his side. That's how delicious those fish are. Toyota FJ Cruiser, terrible as a fish market. Find out what it's good for on Fast Lane Daily.